Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from Salads and Sandwiches of 1917, we're going to be making the mushroom sandwich. Now this is one of those wonderful recipes that gives me no measurements whatsoever. Here, check it out. Yeah. All right, so uh, let's get into it. Okay, first thing we're going to do is peel the mushrooms. So now the recipe says to cook these in butter until soft, but hang on. But if we read ahead to the rest of the recipe, it says to spread onto bread. And to me, spread indicates that this is not a whole mushroom situation. This is more of a chopped up mushroom situation, which means we've got to turn this into this. Now we saute them in butter until soft. Now we add in chicken that I also minced and season with salt and pepper. Now we spread that on buttered bread. Okay, let's give this mushroom sandwich a go. The only way you'd think this tastes bad is if you didn't like chicken, didn't eat chicken, don't like mushrooms, or bread or butter. <laughs> and even though they didn't give measurements or very clear instructions, they still had to season the food with salt and pepper, which was nice. I want to try two different plus ups. On one, I'm going to add a little Roquefort blue cheese. On the other, a little onion powder and a little garlic powder. Okay, let's give this mushroom sandwich plus up with a little onion powder and garlic powder. Go. Oh, so good. It goes with the chicken, goes with the butter, goes with the mushrooms. Oh man, that's good. Okay, now let's give this mushroom sandwich plus up with Roquefort blue cheese. Go. Oh. You know, I love Roquefort blue cheese, but to me, that's kind of overpowering everything in here. I think that's a minus down. All right, so the original mushroom sandwich, which is hilarious because it had chicken in there as well. Um, I, you know, I thought that was pretty good. That was pretty tasty. It was very simple. Uh, sauteed mushrooms with cooked chicken, salt, pepper, and butter. But it was flavorful. It was good. I'm going to give that, I'm going to give that a seven. I think that was pretty tasty. Obviously, this is not a sandwich that's a, a meal, a complete meal. It's probably one of many courses that you would have uh, in a dinner. Plus up with the uh, garlic powder and onion powder. Man, that's like an eight, eight and a half. That is absolutely delicious. I love that combination. Garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper. It's perfect chicken seasoning and it goes really well with the mushrooms as well. So yeah, eight, eight and a half. Unfortunately, the Roquefort blue cheese, as much as I love Roquefort blue cheese, and I think the flavor combination was probably okay, uh, it was a bit overpowering. I didn't put a lot on, so I'm gonna call that a minus down. I'm gonna give that a six. It's not awful, I will finish it, um, but I don't think I would make the blue cheese version again, but I would absolutely make the garlic and onion uh, version again. Now, you may be asking, Barry, why did we have to peel the mushrooms? Uh, apparently you peel them so they can absorb more of the butter and more of the seasoning. Uh, that's just what I'm told, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna finish this, see you tomorrow. Oh.